I would point at three quick role models in my life. First was my dad. My dad came from no education. My dad was a self-made person in a sense. But what he taught me was you treat everybody with respect, everybody. So I think of my friends in life, I don't have any friends that don't treat people with respect. So that was a message I took with me my entire life. Secondarily was John Morgridge. John hired, John was the original CEO of Cisco Systems. Uh, Cisco sits on John Morgridge Way prior to that. John was my boss at a company called Stratus Computer. He hired me, I was second salesperson, entire company. John is a renowned person for his ethics, for his, you know, he, when Cisco started as an example, they were in East Palo Alto, murder capital of the United States. And there's a report that came out that they had a terrible school system and their people can't learn, obviously a racist comment. And John had one of his top people, get, he gave him a year off to go work in that school. They donated equipment. John's wife worked in the school. And there was a big story about an enormous turnaround. He did it on one condition, you don't talk about us. He was proving a point that if you give people the tools, there was nothing in that. He didn't want anything in Francisco. So John was a role model for me for he treated people well, he was fair. It wasn't easy. He's fair, he's very frugal, as he would say. <laughs> One time in a sales kickoff, he had this cover on a sheet, a sheet over a something, he pulled it, it was an economy seat in an airplane, <laughs> driving home. But uh, he's one of the greatest people. And plus, he's done a tremendous amount for public education since the state of Wisconsin. So I just thought everything about him, I had him come speak at the business school at Notre Dame, for instance. And then finally, Dan Warmanhoven, who was our original CEO at NetApp, uh, Dan is a role model for a lot of different things. He treats people, we, when we developed the culture of the company, I think Dan and I were the two of the central people to develop it. What was so great for me is I found someone who, who same values, we're gonna have a high performance culture, we're gonna treat people fairly, we're gonna respect them, we're gonna appreciate them, we're gonna take care of each other, but we're gonna go for greatness. The two of us, James Lau and Dave Hitz, were the other founders, but Dan Wormenhoven, 15 years, as a spectacular CEO in Silicon Valley. There aren't that many 15 years. John and he, would, I don't think John made it that long. But those two I really, really had an impact on my life. 